What normally happens, right, when you, when you have a YouTube channel, particularly with cooking, all right, you, you, you test things out before you make a video. So you get an idea for a recipe, you think, oh, that sounds nice. I know what I'll do, I'll make it. If it's any good, I'll make a video out of it. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that today. Um, I'm just gonna wing it, all right? I'll be honest with you. Had this idea today, I thought, oh, I'm gonna make that. But no, 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 instead of just going, uh, well, I'll make it first in a couple of days, then I'll do it. No, I wanna make it now. All right, because it just sounds too delicious. I need to give this a try now. That's how I live. I'm rock and roll. I, I live life on the edge. No mucking about with me, no, no pussy footing around. All right, always on the edge. No, just, no, all, all, always on the edge, like a rock star. Right, who, who, needs, who needs preparations? Who, who needs planning and organization? All right, no one wants that. What's spontaneity? I'm gonna live in the now. It'll all work out in the end. Trust me, I'm a YouTuber. Afternoon peeps, welcome to another episode of Adam's Eats. Hopefully you'll be watching a video of me making something really tasty that I've never done before and it's just completely out of control with no preparation, but it will still turn out delicious, okay? One thing is, is I'm honest. And what am I making? Well, I had this idea. So I'm gonna get some chicken breasts and I'm gonna butterfly them in half and I'm just gonna bash them out a bit and I'm gonna layer it with some mozzarella and some pepperoni, some seasonings in there as well. And then I'm gonna roll it all up into a small parcel, pan it in flour and egg, or egg and flour. And then I'm going to coat it in not breadcrumbs, but what's it dust. It sounds bonkers, I know, it, it may work, it may not. But I got the idea from these kind of things that videos have been going around on, on YouTube of Mac and Cheetos, you might have heard of those. We, we don't really have Cheetos in the UK, um, so what else can I use? What's it? If you're in the UK, you know what what's it is, all right? So that's my plan, that's the idea. So as per usual, um, have a look down here, I'll show you what we need, and we'll make some thing, chicken cheesy thing. Right then, so, I've got a worktop, some ingredients on it, that's either gonna turn into something really delicious or really foul. Foul, yeah, oh, chicken, <laughs> foul, ha, <laughs> ha, yeah. I'm quietly confident I think it's going to be alright, it's going to be tasty and it's going to be delicious. So, what have we got? Some eggs, some chicken breast, I've got a couple here because obviously if it all goes wrong, it's not going to be very nice, it's going to be a waste. Some mozzarella, some pepperoni slices, what's it? Some plain flour and some cooking oil. Um, and I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to pan fry it first until it's uh, golden brown each side and then I'm going to transfer it onto a baking sheet and then cook it until the chicken is cooked through. And hopefully what I think at the end of it will be a chicken breast with pepperoni, some mozzarella, coated in that cheese dust, and then when you cut into it, it'll be nice and moist and cheese will just kind of melt out and it'll be delicious. That is my plan and that is what I've got in my head. So if it doesn't happen, I'm gonna get in a proper strop about it. So that's the plan. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to butterfly these chicken breasts and I'll show you how to do that now. Butterflying a chicken breast, pretty, pretty simple really. Um, now, you can just cut a pocket in there, I suppose, and then just stuff it with the stuff inside, but I want maximum surface area for this, so what I'm gonna do is, is, is butterfly instead. So, you wanna take your chicken breast, and where it's at the thickest, you just wanna go in the middle, and just get, take a sharp knife and just slice through until it's opened up like that, okay? And then what you want to do is if you take a piece of greaseproof paper or you know you could use cling film, doesn't really matter, and you place that over the top and taking something heavy, frying pan like so, and just whack it. Okay, give it a good old bash. So it's flattened out like so, not completely flat, um, 
because obviously we don't want it too flat. I mean, I've got a little bit of a casualty here, it's split, um, but I'm sure that'll be fine. We'll do the other one. So you've kind of got two butterfly chicken breasts here. Say so we've got some casualties, that one's kind of split in half like so. But actually I think what will be great is I'll probably tuck that bit round like so and then roll it like that. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. Right, so I think the next thing we need to do is we need to season the chicken up. So a bit of salt and pepper. Oh, this is the stupidest idea ever. I've got some pepperoni slices here. I think I'm going to go down and hit it with the pepperoni first. So I'm thinking straight down the middle. Pepperoni down and then probably the same again. Mozzarella. Well it looks good. Whether it works or not, I don't know. We shall see. Sense tells me to take the damaged part that I ruined and just fold that in first and then take the whole thing and just roll it into a sausage shape. Stuff any loose ends in, tuck it all in. Didn't quite go entirely to plan. Um, I don't think I beat them out thin enough because I couldn't get any of the stuffing in. So I'll just take the stuffing off um, and what I've done is I battered them out a bit thinner um, and then the kind of bits that were coming off I took those off, I just sliced those off and then battered those out so I've got like a little thin wafer thin strips there because I think what I'm going to do is lay the filling on because they're now nice and thin and then I'm going to use the off cuts to just cover over that filling and then roll it because um, I think that'll help get a better seal so let's try that. So let's get our mozzarella and pepperoni on. Um, I'm going to lay that bit of chicken over it Create, help create a seal. This is just the most stupidest idea I've ever done. I honestly, I should have just planned it. Okay, they don't look too bad. Okay, so we'll get them on the plate. No real major leakages. We're gonna get them in the fridge and just leave them to just firm up a bit and set for about half an hour. Well, it's going great guns so far. Kind of. Right, I suppose then, we should make our Watsit dust. Now, I thought about putting it in a food processor, but actually these things are made of nothing, so I think they should just crush up quite easily. So I'm gonna take a couple of packets. Oh man. I love Watsit. Now, open the pack. I think if I just crush them in the packet, they should turn into dust. Yay! I've done something right in this video. Hmm, it's nowhere near enough there. I think another two packs of it. I think that is more than enough what's it dust for two chicken breasts. This cooking on the fly lock is quite stressful actually. I'm just worried it's all gonna go belly up. What's it dust ready? Um, yeah, I suppose just wait for the chicken to firm up. Come back in a minute, folks. Chicken will be ready. We'll get them breaded up and we'll get them in the pan. Got my what's it dust ready. I've beaten up two eggs and I've got some flour, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna just season the flour up a bit, I think. Bit of salt and pepper. <laughs> Flour's ready. Honestly, guys, seriously, if you're ever thinking of making a YouTube channel about cooking, don't do what I'm doing. This is stupid. Preparation is key, see? I plan things out, be organised. If anything, it might have a bit of comedic effect. Who knows? Well, I've got some oil in that pan. Right, so we'll get a chicken out of the fridge. I think that's ready, because I can't be bothered to wait anymore. It's been in there for probably about 10 minutes, but oh well. Okay, so got the chicken. Wine first. That's important when making videos that don't make any sense. Flour onto our chicken into the egg and then straight in your watsits. If you wish to unsubscribe now, feel free. Won't hold it against you. Same with the other one. Look at that, that's, that's actually what your fingers look like after eating watsits. They're not looking too bad actually. This 
this could still work. Right, I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna put these back in the fridge because they, they do need to firm up, to be fair. Put them back in the fridge for another half an hour or so, and then we'll fry them off. Hey? Oh, I'm just making a YouTube video. It's a really professionally made one as well. Yeah, honestly. Best video you'll see. It is the best one. You're worried about me. Why? I, oh, I'm, I'm fine. Honestly, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, this is... Honestly, I'm going places. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't understand why I've only got 30, 31 subscribers. Well, it was 32, but someone unsubscribed today. Best, best channel on YouTube. Do you think? Uh, I'm, I'm making this chicken dish, yeah. It's, it's, well, it's basically it's, uh, chicken breast with some gubbins inside and then some what-sits on the outside and then I'm going to cook it. Yeah, and, and, uh, yeah, I'm filming it. Hey, I'm not, that's not that, uh, no, that's a bit rude. Yeah, well, hindsight's a wonderful thing, isn't it? No, I'm absolutely fine, honestly. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. The video will be up, it'll, honestly, it'll make Jamie Oliver look like an amateur. Professionally edited, uh, filmed with high-end equipment. All right, everything's going to be planned. It's going to be brilliant. Honestly, watch it. You'll, it will get like a million likes in two minutes. All right then, I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye. Right then. So, I suppose we should cook these up. Now, got a pan on the heat. Um, I'm going to just get it to temperature. Nothing too aggressive because I'm imagining if you have it too high, that what that what's it dust is going to burn. I preheated the oven to gas mark 5 because that's the, the de facto gas mark setting for pretty much anything. Gas mark 5, you can't go wrong, can you? Let's be honest. Let's get these cooked. Right, so. Should have washed those up really, shouldn't I? Before. Do you know what? I, I just don't care anymore. Right. In fact, I think we're going to title this video How Not to Make a YouTube Cooking Video. Yeah, that, that's what I'm going to do. Completely unplanned, no idea what I'm doing. Let's get these in. So, let's get some colour on those. Now, I'm going to cook these probably for about two, maybe three minutes each side. Just to set it, just get a little bit of colour on there. And I'll put them on that baking tray and we'll get them in the oven. Now, I think probably in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes, I think, for chicken breast this size. So, come back in a minute and hopefully we're ready for the oven. All right then, so, got a bit of color on these. Um, looking good so far. Let's get them on the baking tray, pop them in the oven for a bit. I think one of them is gonna be much more successful than the other, because one of them's already starting to open up. We'll see. Pop them in, gas mark five. We'll come back, and I think 15, 20 minutes, they should be done. I'll see you in a minute. All right, shall we have a looky? See what has happened. Yeah, well, that's what's happened. My prediction was correct. As you can see, one of them has pretty much just exploded. The other one isn't too bad. This one, all right, pretty much held up. But this one, it's all spewed out the sides, just a mess. Hopefully, we can salvage it. Right, I picked the best one out of the two. Okay, so we're gonna cut into it, see what it's like inside. Let's go. Go. And as you can see, there is absolutely no cheese oozing out of it whatsoever. You can see the, the pepperoni in there though, and it smells cheesy, so yeah. We're halfway there, as the Bon Jovi uh, song goes, and I most certainly was living on a prayer. I suppose we should have a taste. All right, let's have a taste. See what it's like. Well, it's moist, because I've cooked the chicken breast properly. Bottoms up. Do you know what? Considering I haven't had a clue as to what I'm doing, that's not half bad. The, the what's it dust on the outside is lovely. It really adds an intense cheesy flavour to it. Without the cheese bursting all over the place, I mean like, I'll, I'll, I'll probably do this recipe again and actually do it properly instead of being an idiot. 
The pepperoni in there is really nice. Yeah, not a, not a complete total failure, which is great, you know, that I can just salvage something from this mess of a video. Lesson to you kids. If you want to start a YouTube channel, don't cook chicken without any kind of planning. Well, that was a little bit ridiculous, wasn't it? What a complete waste of time. What, uh, not a complete waste, all right? There's hope in the dish yet. I'm, I'm definitely gonna make that again, but I'm gonna try and work around that and make it an actual dish, not just some pillock in a kitchen just making a cock up of a perfectly, two perfectly good chicken breasts. Any of you kids out there thinking, oh, I'll start a YouTube channel, that'd be fun, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, I make so, uh, I make some cooking videos. Please don't do this. It's stupid. I mean, it's not a total failure. There are parts of the dish where I, some improvement, and it will work. All right. But I, I'm just highlighting to you now. This is not. It's not how you make a YouTube cooking video. Right? It's not how you do it. All right. If you, if you wanted to watch a, a, a proper video on how to make a nice, delicious chicken breast meal with, with pe pepperoni, pepperoni, with pepperoni and, and, and cheese, go to Ruddy Sorted Food or Jamie Oliver because they'll, they'll have a dish that, that you that, that's ready and ready to go. I'm sure. Thanks ever so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, or unsubscribe, whatever your preference. I'll see you guys next time. Adios.